This instrument that I'm sitting in front of, which looks like a miniature piano, is known as a Celesta. It is an instrument from, uh, it was originally invented in France in the 1880s. And it's very much like a piano, except instead of having strings that create the sound, it has metal tines that produce the sound, kind of like a vibraphone. And it sounds something like this. It has a very, very beautiful sound. Now, while the Celesta kind of looks like a miniature upright piano, the Celesta also has a little brother the keyboard glockenspiel. Now this is a keyboard glockenspiel. I'm gonna pull the bench over so I can sit down. The keyboard glockenspiel is very similar to a Celesta, except that instead of having felt hammers, I believe it has hard uh, metal hammers which come down and hit the tines. Other than that, I believe the keyboard glockenspiel works very much like a Celesta. The lid on this one does not open. There are four screws, but I'm not gonna unscrew it. It's not my instrument. So I, I can't 100% tell you how the inner workings function, but I, from what I've read online, it has um, metal hammers that will hit the tines instead of felt ones. So because of this, the keyboard glockenspiel has a much brighter, louder, percussive sound than that of the Celesta. The Celesta is absolutely beautiful, and the um, keyboard glockenspiel, in my personal opinion, is a little bit less so, although it makes up for it because it's so freaking cute. I'm gonna activate my recorder here. So I'm going to give you a nice detailed uh, video of the key keyboard glockenspiel. I'm gonna start off by playing a little bit, perhaps, of the Sugar Plum Fairy Waltz. Hopefully I don't run out of keys, not the waltz, the uh, Sugar Plum Fairy Dance. And hopefully I don't run out of keys, because uh, this is only three octaves and a little bit more than a half. So this is what the keyboard block still sounds like. played a few notes on the keyboard glockenspiel, the first thing that I described the sound as, which is kind of weird, is spicy. And that might sound weird, someone might call it that it sounds sparkly, which it does as well, but compared to the Celesta, which has a much gentler, relaxed sound, it does kind of sound spicy, at least to me. It's very bright, it's very percussive. And uh, in certain circumstances, you might want that. I believe that the uh, Mozart's The Magic Flute Opera uses a keyboard glockenspiel in certain parts, and it specifically requires a keyboard glockenspiel because it's louder than a Celesta.